Usain Bolt tells Shakari Richardson to stop talking trash and train harder. Of course, Shakari responded. What's up, everybody, and thanks for checking in with us once again here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray, or J. Ray the Fanatic, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. But first, please do me a favor and make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now, before we break down this brewing beef between Hussein Bolt and Shakari Richardson, please take a look at this picture. Yes! This is absolutely stunning to me, and I just had to take a moment to shout out Miss Richardson on how beautiful she looked at our first ever Met Gala. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Not some off the wall weirdness, just beautiful. And I feel like maybe we have to sugarcoat the truth for Shikari, otherwise she won't be able to take it in. For example, a legend like Usain Bolt doesn't need to address Shikari at all. With all the titles we have given Usain Bolt, six fast, this is not one of them. So the only way a legend takes time out to address someone who isn't even in his league is when he sees potential in them. The eight-time Olympic gold medalist spoke to the New York Post this week and said Shikari needs to focus on training and cease with all the trash talk. He said, quote, train harder and to be focused and not say too much. If you talk that big talk, you have to back it up. So just train hard and focus on that and try to come back and do it and then talk about it. That is great advice and quite a compliment, really. Hussein doesn't have to address anything about Shikari. He could have easily just laughed at all the nonsense Sakari is making and say, next question. But the fact that he didn't says the same thing that is evident with a lot of people who criticize her. He sees potential in her. The fact that she is not ready to take in those hard truths, internalize it, and become better shows a lack of maturity and ability to grow. Instead, she posted this to her story. A user said everybody want to give advice in the media, but none of them actually take time to speak to her outside of the media, so I feel her. Stop speaking on me when you don't even speak to me. To which Shikari said, good humbling morning, y'all. I could not have said it better myself. She also posted this with a caption, y'all haven't even had the half of me. But here's what I find really peculiar. This morning, she posted this to her stories. Bomba mentality, learn to love the hate, embrace it, enjoy it, you earned it. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and everyone should have one about you. Haters are a good problem to have. Nobody hates the good ones, they hate the great ones. You do have a problem, sweetheart. Allison Felix has seven gold medals, a shoe deal, a book, and accolades you can only dream of. She paid you a compliment on the Jimmy Kimmel Show and said, we should give you the support you need. You said that was hate. Usain Bolt, who is sitting around living rent-free in all of our heads every time we talk about someone who is fast, has eight gold medals, takes the time to give you some advice and say talk when you win, probably because he thinks you can if you train, that's also not hate. And remember, Kobe built his bond with Jordan because he kept asking Jordan how he did the things he did. Do you think Jordan went up to him and said, hey, come pester me whenever you get a chance. And as much as I want to see you succeed, the last part of that quote said, nobody hates the good ones, they hate the great ones. Which really should explain to you what is happening in this situation. People are offering you support and love because you are not great yet. I suggest you truly channel your Mamba mentality and reach out to Hussein and ask him to train you. But either way, you should be running more than you are talking. But do you think Shikari is right to call out Hussein or is it time she starts taking advice from the greats? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble and we'll see you next time.